We went from 95 degrees to 110 in about two days. And let's take a look to see how some of these plants took it. If you're new here, my name is Lucas and I'm primarily a container gardener. I grow a lot of pot or grow a lot of trees in pots and uh, basically get all my harvest from them. Let's take a look. Okay, first thing we'll take a look at is my second year blueberries. You know, I have four. These are in direct sun. So 111 degrees did not kill these plants. In fact, I don't really see very much damage at all. You know, new growth is still alive. Here's some burn. Looks like some burn. But no problems. You can definitely grow these in full sun. Some people talk about shade and uh, not over watering, but I, I watered them three times once we hit a over 110. Pomegranate, no problems at all. It loves the heat. That's Parfianca. I rooted this from a cutting. My Jan Boyce avocado has shown uh, no damage. I wouldn't. I don't see any damage from burn. Maybe here, this is a little dry. Yeah, I would say that is an issue with the heat. But it does get some shade from uh, the fig that's next to it. So we can't say full sun on this one. But new growth has no damage. See that? But avocados definitely do not like the heat. I'll show you some major damage. Here is uh what is this? Surprise. Look pretty toasted up top. And just to note, this one is in a 20 gallon pot. All my other ones in the same year are in 25 gallons. So there is something to say about root, the space for the roots to grow. But this one did not like the heat at all. See, it totes it all the way at this exposed part. And down here. But I didn't lose any fruit, so that's kind of interesting. Right next to it is Charwell. And the older leaves looks like they dried up a bit. What is interesting is the new growth that came out during this time did not have any damage. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, starting to, we did get some more fruit drop. As you can see right there, right here. Moment of silence. We still have fruit hanging though, but definitely not as big of a crop as we hoped for. My gem did not did have some some burn damage as well right here the new leaves have dried up a bit too or old leaves dried up but new new growth has no damage so I thought that was interesting all the avocados the new growth that's come out has been fine and these came out during the heat like that right there and you can see my reed right here too doing very well and these are not holding fruit. They're just growing more and more. Well, the reed has one fruit. This fruit has been attacked by a rat. There you go. Jujubes, no issues. Jujubes love in the heat. No burn at all. GA-866 continuing to put on fruit or ripening their fruit. I bagged it and I stopped losing all, all the fruit to the rats. I have a grafted persimmon this year, this Izu, and no issues with the heat. This is the tiger tooth I grafted this year. Still, I didn't drop any fruit. I got it in a 15 gallon now. It's actually still flowering, so this is a really impressive variety. I'm convinced it's self fertile as well, or self fruitful. This one's a Mineola Tangelo. No burn. Maybe, actually maybe that's burn. But no real damage. Still holding its fruit. Citrus have been all, all have had no issues. So let's show you something that is surprisingly burned. All right, this is a McDill White Sapote. And you'll see the new growth cannot handle, or did not handle the heat. I guess it can, but you see a little bit of burn. A little crispy up top but it survived the old growth was totally fine the hardened off leaves totally fine so aside from the avocados 
The white sapote actually had the most damage after that. Another tree that took some damage was uh, my Morris rubras. These are pure Morris rubras. That's a, the red mulberry that I, I got from Lucky. And these are known as an understory plant or understory tree. So maybe that's why I couldn't handle this heat. But they're not fully rooted in. You know, these were up potted not too long ago. So I have two different species or two different varieties. And they, they both suffered some damage from the sun. But nothing threatening or life threatening. I have a uh, young May, a little bit of burn right here. But we have a new new flushes of growth. So they, they like the heat. There's no issues. Figs, no problem. No problem. This is a plum, burgundy plum. No issues with heat. And then I have a Shangri-La here, mulberry. Handled the, pro the heat with no problems. This is a white ivory mulberry. But most of these plants had no, no issues with the heat, even like some of these smaller seedlings they just they just grew more <laughs> I'll show you I have a box of papayas and tree liners here these are Hawaiian papayas and uh, they did very well with the heat you know they, they liked it this is a this is this is called the bonetes I think it's a Mexican mountain papaya and no issues you know no burn at all this is a seedling a small pot full sun my mango seedlings had all flush new growth and these took no damage at all from the heat in fact they love heat if you're inland and somewhere super hot you got to grow some mangoes so these are the ones that we're gonna really love you for growing them these are seedlings of atolfos i even grafted a bunch of atimoya and none of them burned up in the heat wave Maybe this one. No, we still got it's still alive. But none of them died. So it's really it's really interesting or how what these these plants can survive through. I have a contorted mulberry. And this one has issues, but this is root bound. I need to up pot it. But I do think it did get dry on me, you know, while I was in this pot. This one isn't fruit, so that's why I don't have I don't really prioritize it. There's something that's kind of strange. I forget what variety this is. Maybe Dr. White, but it's a cherry moya that I, I uh, grafted this year. And it's been having this drying issues here, or burn for months now. And it got worse during the heat wave, but during prior to that, we have new, new buds pushing here. And these weren't burned at all. I'm not sure if these are burned or they're just leaf cycling or what the actual deal is because it 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 did not there's no heat damage you know on the on the branches or on the new leaves so who knows <laughs> if you know let me know here's a kohala longan and this this did not handle the heat here but new growth here was fine so i don't know if it's just kind of prioritizing growth at a different place or what you know like this new growth is fine maybe it just aborted those leaves back there you know the overall there's no the, the tree is healthy these garcinias this is Luke's I think they're all Luke's but this does get some exposure to full sun during the day and garcinias are known to be an understory tree too or something that should be grown in basically pure shade but these did not burn. This new growth has not burned. These were started inside, and when I brought these out in like 70, 80 degrees, they had some burn from it. So it's an interesting observation from something that's usually known to not be able to take any sun. But these have been, been okay. Like the new leaves have been okay. And I think they did need to get rooted in maybe. Maybe that was part of it before. Or just, if they're not grown in the sun at all, they're definitely not going to be able to handle it. I have some rooted mulberry cuttings. No issues with the heat, no burn. This coffee plant also took some direct heat. Oh, not coffee. Yeah, it's a Gesha coffee. It took some direct 
direct sun and the 110 degree sun and this this new growth no issues the old growth some <laughs> I'm not I don't I usually don't worry if the new growth has no problems you know this this new growth looks very healthy my uh, dragon fruit here no problem you know it's too thin down the middle and snapped because of uh, this one that grew out I rooted this from the cutting I don't know why it's cutting so thin but it worked it's still growing more garcinias this is a achacha selecto also had some full sun and was able to tolerate it this did sprout with sun indoors so maybe that's why and these are also some lukes some garcinia Cuminata, Umbroniana, just multiple different Garcinias. But I don't have any heat damage on these or sun damage. I guess this is some damage right here. You know? But not from the heat. Not from the recent heat. These Garcinias also had some sun exposure, but it didn't it didn't bother them. Maybe a little bit. Some chlorosis. But no. It doesn't seem like it's sun damage. This is some crimps rootstock, cherry rootstock. Definitely has damage. <laughs> I've heard cherries don't like extreme heat and it does seem that way. It's another example of a Garcinia and that did not take damage from the, the heat. This is from when it was indoors. So I lost one leaf on the other side. But these four leaves came up uh, outside in some sun. And this definitely gets sun throughout the daytime, at least one to two hours, you know, of afternoon sun. So I'm not sure some Garcinias can tolerate some sun when they're young. I think it just depends on how you start them. Here's here's my Morris Nigra grafted on to world's best. Morris Nigra had no issues with 110 degrees. I have new buds flushing. Behind it is Grover's Best. No issues as well. No heat damage. It's a mulberry called Sixth Street. And it has some damage here, I guess. It's hybrid. But I think this could be root bound. It could have dried up more than anything. Yeah, this is pretty dry even now. So I think we have issues of just uh, hydration more than anything. There's another hybrid. Totally fine. Ice cream bean has no issues with the heat. <laughs> Ice cream bean just like to grow. There's a flavor grenade pluot. Uh, I guess this does count as shade, but it still has holding a lot of fruit. Did not drop any fruit during the heat wave. And no burn either on the fruit, so it looks good. Here's a lychee that's mostly sun. It does get some shade, but no damage. Oh, maybe you're here. You know, the new growth looks like it kind of shriveled up. But none of the old leaves have any damage. I mean, I'm not concerned that this tree's going to die. That's what I'm trying to say. See, no, no burn damage on potted strawberries. I'm still getting fruit basically all year. I got a lot of grasshoppers chewing on them. So... Sometimes the rats come around too. But the sun is not a problem. One thing that definitely did not, like the sun is a paw paw. Definitely wants to be shaded. <laughs> so I moved it into the shade. I was uh, being optimistic. Well, there you have it. That's how the plants did in the heat. And uh, very surprising results, at least to me. You know, literally, once it hit 105, I had zero damage, zero burn on any of the trees. Then it hit 111, and I had only one one little burn on the white sapote. But as the days went on, it was a four-day period, that's when all the damage really started to show. So I think it's more of a sustained heat issue, or maybe I just didn't water enough, but <laughs> we'll have to see. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to see some more on my plants, check out the next video. Girls go wild. That's what they call me, I'm the man with a plan growing naturally From the dirt to the table, it's a beautiful sight Yeah, it grows gone wild, we're living it right